today we're making a rig. So we're going to be using this steel base plate, these M3 rods, interlocking brass tubes, and I'm going to use the joints from my armature. So we're going to start by tapping a hole in the steel base plate. This is 12.5 centimeters across both ways. So we're going to mark the middle. And then we're just going to go around the other side and mark that. Okay, now that we have our center marked up, we can go ahead and center punch the hole, which will guide the drill bit in when we start drilling. The next step is to drill the hole in the center. We're going to be using a 2.5mm bit to drill the M3 thread. Since this drill track only goes to 3mm, we have to use this extension piece. Because of the size of the steel plate, I cannot use this drill press vise. Instead, I'll have to use these lugs that I've created to hold it in place. First, I'm going to centre up the drill bit. So now the steel plate is firmly affixed by the lugs. Now we need to raise the bed up to the drill bit. So I'm going to crank it up. Recenter the bit. So, now we can start tapping the steel plate. We're going to be using this little M3 starter tap. Now we can see the tap is fully way through. And now we can see that the thread does indeed work. I'm going to use this machine to cut the steel rods to the size we want. Just going to load it up. And I'm just going to lower it. So, now that I've cut the rods to size, the next step is to attach the ball bearings and the joints together to make the rig. So you can see these, the ball just threads onto the rod, but the problem is, is that the thread can come undone. So the next part is silver soldering the balls together. We're going to be using this brace tech H paste, which is quite nasty. And I'm just going to brush it on like that, which will help the silver solder to stick. 